Hello everyone, this is Shashank Shakur Bala and today we are demonstrating the DC motor speed control system. This is the setup of DC motor speed control system. Permanent magnet DC motor here. This is the motor and motor shaft is connected here with a slotted aluminum disc which is passing through the sensor. One speed sensor is there, this black one is the speed sensor. When this slotted disc is passing through the speed sensor, the sensor generates the pulse and that pulse is converted into the RPM. Okay, and then we will get the dis RPM displayed from this meter. Here it is the uh, permanent magnet, that's the field is constant here and we are controlling the armature so that's why armature is connected here and this aluminum disc has another purpose that is for loading okay so you can see here is a permanent magnet this one is the permanent magnet when this permanent magnet is placed across this disc and when disc is uh, rotating through this permanent magnet so one eddy current is generating through this disc as a result it act as a eddy current braking when we change the brake position you can see uh, the brake position here it is zero zero means there is no load uh, you can see at zero it is not cutting that's why uh, yeah, load is zero when it is one the some portion is cutting that's where load is minimum after that when it is at position 5 then you will get the maximum load okay now it is fully coming across this uh, disc now it's full load okay that way you can change the load this is the connection of motor there are five wires you can see this green and yellow this two wire is for the armature connection armature voltage is applied from the controller to the motor by this wire and another three wires are there then this black red and the blue it is for the speed feedback okay so and this speed feedback signal is applied to the controller and which signal is converted into the rpm and another purpose of this signal is for the techo voltage so there is a there is a electronic techo generator inside this ca controller which that means this electronics techo generator convert the frequency into the voltage that means the speed is converted into the frequency then frequency to the voltage and that voltage is used as a techo generator output and output of techo generator is used as a feedback voltage. This is the controller, here is the main switch and this is the RPM meter and this is inbuilt voltmeter and you can measure the voltage at different test point connecting this voltmeter. See here is the reference voltage and from this mate, uh, point we are getting the reference voltage and you can change the reference voltage using this knob. The reference voltage is displaying here and reference voltage suppose we are setting the reference voltage is 1 volt so now it is 1 volt and uh, we can see the armature voltage from here now reference voltage is 1 volt and this is the error detector after error detector there is a uh, amplifier it's called the error amplifier and we can change the uh, gain of this error amplifier using this knob okay now it is 1 volt and output is 5 volts that means gain is 5 okay Whether now it is in open loop condition now if we take the ratio of output and the input so we are getting the gain so using this knob we can change the gain okay Our after error amplifier there is a unity gain power amplifier it's uh, it's uh, used as a driver circuit to drive the motor and it is a power amplifier but the uh, voltage gain is unity here and this is the feedback path 
feedback path after takeoff generator this is the feedback when you connect uh, the feedback path so now it is in closed loop you can see it is applied to the error detector after detecting error voltage then it is applied to the error amplifier okay another input signal we are getting from this on this path so from this point we can see the see the amplitude so when you turn on this upper side is the turn on see the amplitude of this signal is varying from positive 0.5 volts to negative 0.5 volt that means it is one volts peak to peak square of signal okay and this signal is look like this okay so this signal is look like this you can see this is square right? and the frequency of this square f is now we are measuring it is 1.35 hertz and amplitude if we measure the amplitude then see here is the one cursor cursor one is set to here and we are placing the another cursor here you can see now amplitude is 1.1 volt so it is 1.1 volt and now we are getting the frequency is 1.3 hertz at first we are finding the motor gain constant km and the teco gain constant kt for that uh, first we set the reference uh, voltage 1 volt so it is now 1 volt and then connect the multimeter to the armature and set the gain is 3 and at 3 now we are getting the output voltage is 3 volts and output rpm is now 309 so uh, you should note down the rpm and the vt so we are getting the vt is now 0.17 volt so armature voltage at 3 volt we are getting the rpm this much and vt is the feedback echo output is 0.7 volts after that you should change the gain to 4 and see we are increasing the gain so now speed is increased and now at 4 armature voltage is 4 and we are getting the rpm 674 and from here we are getting the vt and vt is now 0.38 volt okay then again increase the voltage and that way we followed the so, speed at different armature voltage and take the VT and we are finally we are getting this type of pressure so we are getting like this so when we complete this table we are getting this kind of RSR after completing this table we should follow the curve between armature voltage and the speed and after plotting this curve it Calculate the slope of this linear portion, then you will get the motor constant. Before calculating the motor constant, you should convert this RPM into angular speed radian per second. And you should plot another curve with speed versus take voltage. Okay, then we are getting the uh, another constant, it is called the KT, it is take generator gain constant. Now we are calculating the motor time constant for that first we set the gain is 10 after that we should reduce the reference voltage to 0. Now turning on the square F signal Bs after that we should measure the Bs and the Vt connecting the oscilloscope is here and from this we are getting the so this is the vs signal now we are measuring the vs using this oscilloscope and see is the cursor here is the cursor so it is 
1.1 volt amplitude and a frequency we can measure if we uh, stop it and then if we set the x cursor so frequency is 1.3 hertz and amplitude is 1.1 volt after that we are measuring the vt so for that we should connect across vt run it now we are measuring the amplitude see for that stop it then go for y cursor see the pick and go to y2 see it is 136 millivolt 136 millivolt that means point 0.136 volt now using this formula we can calculate the motor time constant after calculating the motor time constant write the transfer function like this now see the closed loop performance steady state error for that first we set the reference is 1 volt after that we set the gain should 3 ok gain is 3 now we should measure the Vt so Vt so first we close the path now it is closed loop condition now we are measuring the Vt so from that we should measure the Vt Vt we are getting 0.15 volts ok so Vr is 1 and Vt is Vt is 1.6 so ESS equal to now Vr minus Vt so we will get the Vr minus Vt and you make another column that is ESS steady state error theoretical ok we, are, we should calculate the theoretical value using this formula then we should compare with it after that again we increase the gain suppose we are increasing the gain to 4 so for that so we are increasing the 4 and closing it then measuring the Vt so now Vt is 0.29 so again you can calculate the ESS using the experimental value the from reference minus this Vt equal to the experimental value and using the formula we can also the so that way we can complete this table changing the gain from 3 to 9 ok and compare the theoretical value of ESS and the experimental value of ESS now reference voltage is 0.5 volts and turn down the input signal square F signal and gain is now 5 now we are measuring the Vt peak to peak see from the oscilloscope so it is 72 millivolts now we should follow the reading in table change the gain 7 and take another reading ok after that we should calculate the system time constant using this formula now we are applying the load at different condition open loop and the closed loop at different gain 5 and 10 
so for that first we set the gain is 5 so suppose measuring the input so now we are setting the gain in open loop uh, turning on the so gain is 5 now we should set the rpm of the motor is 1200 okay for that we are increasing the reference voltage and observing the rpm meter now no load speed is 1288 after that we are applying the brake and speed is reduced as you can see now the speed is in the braking position 5 so it is in uh, 650 after that we are closing this and now again we are increasing the speed and set the speed to 1200 now no load speed is 1240 and full load speed is 970 again increasing the gain now gain is 10 closing it set the speed about 1200 at no load condition yes now changing the load position at 2 we are getting the about 1100 at full load nine hundred and ninety after completing that table compare the percentage decrease in speed at various brake setting for open loop closed loop with gain five and close loop with gain 10. So this was the experiment of DC motor speed control system. I think it is clear to you. Still if you have any confusion or if you have any question please write in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.